Hello and welcome to today's class. For today's class, we'll be looking at partial derivative using quotient rule. All right. So first is first, recall that a quotient is simply the result of division. So we, we use um, quotient rule when we are doing the division of terms or, or, or the division of functions. Okay. Now, what's the formula for this? Let's say I have a function z of, let's say, two variables x and y. And this is equal to, let's say I have another function, u of x, y, all over v of x, y. Now, for the fact that I'm having a division sign here, two terms dividing, it becomes um, a quotient rule problem under partial derivative. From this one here, now recall from our basic calculus. From basic calculus, we have that, for quotient rule, we have that dy over dx is equal to v du over dx minus u dv all over dx all over v squared. So this is what we have from um, basic calculus. Now, this same idea will be used here. And for this, it becomes, we'll have that dz, we'll have that dz all over dx, that's partial z over partial x is equal to now, by the way, notice the way I'm curving the, the D, all right? This is a curve D. The curve D shows partial, all right? If you write it this way, this shows total um, differential. So, isn't it a curve D? It's equal to, using that same format, there becomes V. So, it becomes V here. You can just write V, or you can write this in full. That's V of X, Y. That's V into DU all over DX, as you can see there. But in this case, it becomes what there? partial u all over partial x what i have there next is minus so it becomes minus i have u so it becomes u here if you want to you can now add this two here so it becomes u of x y into what i have there is total u over total x but for this one here i'll be using what there partial what i have there's um total v all over total x you can see this the v dx but here I'll just use partial v all over partial x, okay? All over, so this all over v squared. So v of this x, y, all squared. So if you look at this now, this is not so different from what we've been doing before. It's just the same thing, just that in this case it becomes a partial, not total. All right. This one here, the same thing there, dz the all over dy is equal to, that becomes um, v of xy into partial u all over, since I'm differentiating with respect to y, becomes partial u over partial y minus u into xy, so xy into partial v all over partial y all over v of x y this all squared so basically this is my formula so this is what i will get if i do this all right all right so this is what occurs when the variable is two uh, we'll take an example and we'll try to solve this uh, but before the example what if i had three variables what if i have three variables so let's say, what if I had something that looks like, um, okay, so let's say, what if I had something that looks like this? Let's say I had z being a function of u, v, and w, for instance, such that this would be equal to u of, uh, okay, okay, So what if I have a function p, let's say this p now is a function of three variables, let's say x, y, z, and that's equal to u of three variables, x, y, z, all over v of x, y, z. What if I have something like this? So what would be my formula for calculating the partial derivative of p with x, y, and z? What would it be? All right, let's get this done. 
So for this, I will have that partial P all over partial X will be equal to, so the same thing there, um, V first, so it becomes V of X, Y, Z, X, Y, Z into partial U all over partial X minus U, now no longer X, Y, but X, Y, Z, so X, Y, Z into partial v all over partial x don't forget we are differentiating with respect to x all over v squared for v squared becomes v of um x y z this all squared so i have this all right so this will be my formula for partial p or partial x let's try partial p all over partial y what will be your formula it will be exactly the same thing, just that I'll change this to what there, y. So that means my formula will look like v into x, y, z into partial u all over partial y minus u into x, y, z into partial v all over partial y all over this same thing here that's v of x y z all squared so i'll have this let's get a last formula for our last formula i'll have that partial p all over partial z i've gotten for x i've got for y let's get for z that will be equal to so i am maintaining the same thing there v so i'm having v into x y z into partial u all over partial z all right from x to y from partial y to partial z just the same thing um, minus u so u into x y z into partial v i'm having partial v all over partial z all over so all over this one here that becomes um, v into x y z or square all right guys so this becomes your formula for calculating um, partial derivative using quotient rule for two variables as in this case all right or three variables as in this case all right so we'll take um we'll take an example and that will solve problems on this all right so let's try one example on partial derivative using quotient rule so let's say i'm giving this as being equal to let's say x squared plus y squared all over let's say x plus y so here we have to find the first thing there partial z all over partial x and then the second thing there partial z all over partial y all right so in this question here let's find partial z over partial x and then partial z all over partial y all right so how do we solve this um solution First things first, let's get, let's get some things right. We'll call this u of x, y. We'll call this u of x, y. Since this is a function of both x and y, we'll also call this v of x, y, since it's a function of x and y. All right, let's solve this. So what do you have here? First things first, let's take u of x, y. Okay? What's the value of partial u? All over partial x for partial okay this is equal to of course this is equal to x squared plus y squared that's this let's get partial u over partial x differentiate this with respect to x that's what it means if i differentiate x squared obviously i'll have 2x 
There is no X term here. So this becomes zero and it's off. Come to the next one. Let's get partial U all over partial Y. If I come to this same term here, this is X squared. There is no Y term here. So it becomes zero. All right. So that's how we do partial derivative. If there's no Y term, then it becomes zero. Differentiate Y squared. The idea is to multiply by the power. The power here is 2. So 2 times y gives you 2y. I'm having 2y. Subtract 1. 2 minus 1 is 1. So I have this. So I have this one here. Okay. Next up, let's get v of x. v of xy is equal to what I have here. x plus y. Let's get change in v all over change in x. That will be equal to I have x here. Differentiate x, I'll have 1, of course. This is from the general method. This is from basic calculus. Okay? And let's get the v all over dy. Differentiate y here. There's no y here. So this becomes 0. Differentiate y here. That's equal to 1. So it becomes 1 and 1. I have this. All right, let's recall formula. So recall, recall that partial z, um, yep, Partial z over partial x is equal to um, v of xy into partial u over partial x minus u of xy into partial v all over partial x all over v squared. That's v of xy all squared. We we'll have this. All right, so impute values, what do I have? This will now be equal to V of XY. V of XY is X plus Y. So put it in bracket, becomes X plus Y. So this into partial U over partial X. What is partial U over partial X? That's this, that's 2X. So into 2X minus U of XY. What's U of XY? U of XY, as you can see here, is equal to x squared plus y squared. So minus x squared plus y squared into partial v over partial x. Partial v over partial x has 1. So 1 all over v of xy. v of xy is this. We said squared. So it becomes this one here. x plus y all squared. All right, so from here, let's expand this. So I'll have that 2x times x gives you 2x squared plus 2x times y gives you 2xy, okay? Minus 1 times x squared gives you minus x squared. Minus 1 times y squared gives you minus y squared all over this one here x plus y squared. All right, that's equal to 2x squared minus x squared. The coefficient here is 1, so it becomes 2 minus 1, and that gives you 1. 1 times x squared gives you x squared. So I'm having 2x squared minus x squared gives you x squared. Bring this down, plus 2xy. Bring this down, minus y squared all over x plus y all squared. So we have this. So this is the value of partial z all over partial x. That's the value. Next up, let's get partial z over partial y. Also, let's recall formula. Recall that number two here. Number two, partial z over partial y is equal to we said it's V of XY into partial U all over partial Y minus U of XY into partial V all over partial Y all over V of XY, this um, all squared. All right, so we had this. All right, let's substitute value. Substituting value, that's equal to uh, V of XY. V of XY is this. That's X plus Y. 
So it becomes x plus y into partial u over partial y. That's this 2y. So into 2y minus u of xy. u of xy is this. That's x squared plus y squared. That's x squared plus y squared into partial v over partial y. That's this, which is 1. So that's 1 all over v squared. That's vxy squared. vxy is this, x plus y all squared. That becomes x plus y all squared. And that's equal to, so let's expand this. 2y times x gives you 2xy plus 2y times y is 2y squared. Minus 1 times x squared is minus x squared. Minus 1 times plus y squared gives you minus y squared. So basically, minus comes here, minus x squared. Minus comes to plus. Minus plus is minus y squared. Of course, times 1 is itself. So all over x plus y all squared. So look for like terms. Any like terms? Yep, we can see 2y squared. We can see minus y squared. So they are like terms. So let's start with this first. This gives us 2xy. So I'm having 2y squared minus y squared. That's simply 2 minus 1, which is 1 times y squared. So 2y squared minus y squared gives you plus y squared. That's plus 1y squared or plus y squared minus. So minus x squared all over this x plus y all squared. So this becomes the value of dz all over dy. So we have this. All right. So this is how we solve this problem, all right? So this is the solution to this question.